first bus weekend of 2024 is about to go down. Carrie is in here getting this thing a little tidied up. We've got a couple dogs hanging out in here. Those are taking a little nap. Carrie getting the groceries all put away. This is an ordeal to get this thing all set for the weekend, but I think we are pretty well set. Carrie is the bus master and always does a fantastic job of getting all the things organized while I end up getting preoccupied with a car that's not prepped in time. So anyways, looking forward to hitting the road here soon and making our way to VIR. Dog delivery. Oh, we got doggies. All loaded up, about ready to hit the road for VIR. Got the bus, the Specky 46, the four wheeler, and of course some doggies. And there's the beautiful Carrie, general manager. And we are hopefully gonna have a good weekend. Got a little rain in the forecast, but just for one day for a little bit. And then hopefully have a fun weekend racing with BWCCA. We made it down to VIR for the Bimmerall Test Day, BWCCA Club Race event. And fortunately, the weather looked like it's going to hold off a little bit better for the test day today. It was supposed to rain kind of through, I don't know, 1, 2, 3 o'clock, but right now it's just a little drizzly. So, Bill thinks he's a meteorologist. Uh, I mean, I know how to use uh, weather app radar pretty, pretty well. <laughs> it's, a, it's a skill. If you're a racer, you know how to use the radar sure. and a weather app. <laughs> Got some race school students just about to go out and hopefully they dry the track up a little bit. I'm going to wait to go out for just a little bit to let the track dry out. And uh, yeah, got to get some bus things set up, but yeah, looking forward to, uh, to uh, our first race school session. Race school. <laughs> <laughs> Lots so of noises going on. <laughs> Anyways, all kinds of noises, all kinds of stuff going on. Carrie is making fun of me because I can't focus, but Whatever, need to get all the stuff set up for the bus and get our HQ in business. Well, I went to fire the car, but I let the kill switch on last night. So the car is dead. Going to give it a little juice with an Optima charger. We got her hooked up. I shouldn't have done that. Heading out for a little test day action, knock the cobwebs off. Again. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> Driver's meeting's done. Time to wake things up. Got to get the canopies put back up. Got to get the car uncovered. Hit some practice in a little bit. Got a pretty spread out day today. Got practice at 10, qualified at two something, and then race at six for the first Becky 46 race. Got four races this weekend. Got some buddies here. We got Bodie over there, Jesse. 
We got Pat Harris over there, John Adams, a whole bunch of crew, Specky 46 racers. So looking forward to a good weekend of racing. of the weekend was that Carrie and I spent a little time chatting with the latest crop of Bimoral BMW CCA club race school students before my qualifying. I went through the school in 2015, Carrie in 2020, and it is an awesome experience to help prep people to take the next step into going to wheel to wheel racing. Love spending some time with these guys. Uh, putting the engine cover back on because it's been a little... <coughs> putting the engine cover back on... <laughs> <laughs> something in my throat because i spent a little time on the diner today uh but qualified p3 got Kanishak up front pretty fast p1 john park p2 jesse's in fourth johnny action behind me in fifth but hopefully can improve on that p3 move a little closer to the top definitely don't want to lose any spots but we'll see how this race goes here coming up very shortly pat are you gonna win the pace car race Oh, I'm going to leave this at least first lap. <laughs> morning at VIR decided to get our cars at the grid a little bit early last night uh, maybe about 12 hours early to grid because we were qualifying first thing in the morning so now need to get the car under cover torque pressures and things uh, a race yesterday went super well for me for the first half of the race and then I blew it in turn three and spun the car but uh, yeah it was a lot of fun got up to the front for a little bit Battling with Kanishak, Park was uh, on my heels, and then, well, I caved the pressure a little bit in turn three and spun it. But today, gonna hit qualifying hard and hopefully have a better result and find my way back up front. Qualified P2 this morning, just pulled up to grid, about to see how this race goes. Uh, I've never started on the front row, so this is uh, a little bit anxiety inducing for me, but looking forward to uh, hopefully killing it and not making a mistake like I did yesterday and finding my way towards the top. We got the Bimoral pace car and then a whole grip of Specky 46s and some Specky 36s getting ready to go racing. Doing a little dog walking after race number two. And well, race two went fairly well. I started P2 and ended up P3. Didn't quite have it for Kanishak, but had a ton of fun battling with him. Jesse checked out a little bit in the, in the start and then me and Candy were trying to just inch our way back up there. And then a yellow flag came out. We were closing, but couldn't quite get there. I gotta figure out Hawkman a little bit. That's kind of my uh, spot where I'm losing some time to Canny and then uh, got me in turn one. But looking forward to race number three. Looks like this is gonna be gridded based on lap times of this last race, which means I am going to start third. Me and Kanishak had the exact, exact to the thousand, same lap time. And well, he was ahead of me. So I assume he's gonna get the grid position for start. So I'll start P3 behind Jesse, Jesse, Canny, then me. Looking forward to getting this going. We got Ryan Agnew, Justin Pizzullo. Justin's playing car chief this weekend, I guess. Yeah, only got Thursday to drive. How's it going? Ryan, how's that car doing? Uh, amazing. 
Yeah, you look like you're doing pretty good out there. It's great, yeah. For first time here and first time out in the car, it's uh, been a great weekend so far. Awesome. Car's solid, very easy to drive, and it's just going, going, going. Love it. Love it. Uh, first time here, you like the track? I love it. Good. Yeah. Awesome. Fun. Been a good weekend so far. Ryan just picked up this IP car that actually we did the cage in a little while back. But uh, yeah, it seems like he's kind of picked this place up quick. And you won yesterday? Yeah, I did. And uh, and I had a bad qualify too. Awesome. So I worked my way up and uh, set fast times and going faster and faster. So hopefully today I break into the 205s. Awesome. You qualify P1 uh, for this? I race? did. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. We'll be uh, watching how this goes. Race number three. Race number three coming up, going to go ahead and rotate the tires around. I'm going to abuse these things a little bit. I'm going to go left front to right rear, right front to left rear, fuel the car up. Uh, I think I'm pretty much ready to go. Feature race is done, had a yellow flag in the middle of it, uh, started third, got past Kanishak at the start, and then was able to get past Jesse on the back straight and held on to it for six, seven laps, I'm not sure how long, then the yellow, and then uh, two laps to fight for my life to hang out out front. Fortunately, Kanishak and Jesse started fighting, so I got a little bit of breathing room, but uh, here at the dyno, to make sure I'm all good for compliance and I passed. So awesome. Pretty thrilled to have won the feature race. Got a chance to watch a little of the other group racing with the fam, of course. We got Dan Feldman here. Dan has been really, how many years have you been working with us? I started at this track asking James to come over and look at my car as I was having some issues with it probably in 2008, 2009. I was going to say, I've been, up, you know, been there a while in the warehouse, went up, I've been in sales over 10 years and I feel like I've yeah. always talked to you for, for a lot of years. So. You've been my go-to guy. Yeah, Dan's, <laughs> Dan's been around for a while, been doing this for a bit, uh, running what, PWR three? Current, now PWR4. Okay, yeah. awesome. Yeah, uh, great. I, I think it's I think it's the future of BMW Club with these PM, either spec or power to weight, and then and then modified classes. I think it's a great place for anybody that has an old BMW. You can just maybe it was a KP, maybe it was a whatever, but now it, it, any, any, you, there's always going to be a PW class for it. I think so. I think it's uh, I think it's it's been a good addition to the, the CC 
Diego Yeah. Yeah. Um, awesome. So you got a win yesterday, right? I was fortunate to hold off uh, my competitors. I got a win yesterday, and then this afternoon I think I might have I might have finished pod or third. Okay. And I was fourth today, but really got got behind some traffic, and I just couldn't break break out of the traffic in my field kind of left me behind uh, uh, and that traffic happens. happens it happens traffic it happens it happens <laughs> but uh nonetheless it gave me an opportunity to work on other things and try to get around a fast a fast car and um it's just it's just the way that it goes but uh, it was still a lot of fun and I'm, yeah. still, I'm, I'm still pulling better times here than i ever have in you know whatever 15 years of coming here so um i'm, I'm pleased with my progression fantastic as slow as it may be <laughs> it's still progression what's home track I would say Watkins Glen, but I seem to spend more time in New Jersey. Okay. But uh, Watkins Glen's two hours from me, so that, that would be the place to get to if, I, if there's events there. Awesome. Thank you for chatting with us. Yeah, man. Thanks for, thanks for stopping over. And by the way, always, always, always appreciate all the support from Bimmer World. It's been really my go-to <laughs> my go-to place for go fast parts, and it's been, a, it's been an awesome relationship, so always appreciate Thank it. Thank you for the support. You bet. You bet. <laughs> We got Mr. Cottrell over here from the Easy Care Specky 46. How was your day? I'm looking for the, it was wonderful. I'm looking for the race winner today. Have you seen? Oh, that's me. Early to grid, all tucked in. We got grid in like, I don't know, 12, 13 hours, but going ahead and playing the car up here because we are qualified in the morning. There's no pre-grid for qualifying. So whoever gets here, first come, first serve, decided to go ahead and snag that first spot. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Just sitting in the pits looking at Race Hero, waiting to see what kind of time I need to put down in qualifying. Last race of the weekend, about to get going, just qualified fourth. Not quite as good as I wanted to, had a little bobble in Oak Tree, otherwise I think I'd be possibly P2. But we'll see how this goes, start on the outside, I've been starting on the inside this, uh, this weekend. So hopefully I can make something stick on the outside. Actually, I guess I did start on the outside uh, when I started P2. But anyways, looking forward to getting this going. Apparently I might still be in contention for the belt, not sure. But Jesse looked fast this morning, so he's, uh, he may be in contention for the belt. Really, it's any three of us.
Okay. Good job, guys. Hey, Belchamp, how was your weekend? It was awesome. Good racing, Specky 46. Got lucky. We all went fast. Now we're going home. I kind of wish this was mine. It was close. <laughs> Not quite. Couldn't quite get there. Canada Shack had a big battle. Jesse ended up victorious over the course of the weekend. So, congrats, sir, Jesse. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Bear World. Thanks, Tilt. Thanks, Flip Flip Speed. Next year, I'm coming for this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Woo! Uh, going? What a weekend. That was a blast. Really the best I've driven ever. So, pretty thrilled. Didn't get the belt. Freaking Jesse got the belt. So, oh well. I am happy he got it, though. I came in second, uh, did win the feature race, so that's worth something to me. And well, it's probably about time to pack this thing up. My car's still shiny, we're still together, still runs. So excited to hit the next race. I don't even know what the next race is, maybe a Typer Fest. I don't know, we'll see if I squeeze something else in there. But love racing with all our friends in the paddock. You know, just a really great Specky 46 and overall a great PWCCA club race weekend. So thrilled with the weekend. And time to wrap this baby up.